what is up guys before we begin with the tutorial i just want to tell you that i have a giveaway that you can enter in order to win eight courses it's explained in this video that you currently see here link for this video is in the description below make sure you check it up so that you can see how you can enter for the competition and uh, good luck maybe you will win eight of my courses and uh, also enjoy the tutorial take care what it is little people Fire here from awesometudes.com moving forward with our game but before we do so go and check out the campaign hopefully it is more than this right here that we see now you will support this campaign and get the course of course get the course of course and you will support creating these videos on youtube which are also very useful so moving forward it is time to put our game to the next level by bringing in the golems. So go into your models and into the golem folder. And here is the golem dude. I'm simply gonna drag and drop him here. Now the golem he has, if I go and put him right here, he already has all of his textures on him. I'm simply gonna rescale him. Let's say at three, three, three. This is what I want. This is okay. We do need to position him or rotate him on the y-axis this is what I want let me just go for the golem I'm gonna click on him so click here on the drop down list from the golem and go here for his shader notice here this one so game object that is a child of the golem if I turn it off the whole golem will disappear so I'm gonna go here into the shader standard I'm gonna say unlit and let's say transparent yeah we this is what we want transparent and the yeah this is it this is the golem and i'm pretty satisfied with him but what is wrong with the camera and the presentation of the golem from this side when i take a look at him you see oh he's transparent man he's transparent we need to set unlit and color or texture actually yeah unlit texture no so now everything is okay making him transparent will actually make him be transparent and visible through so he will be visible and uh, what else am I gonna do I'm gonna remove this animator component so remove the component from him and I'm gonna attach the animation component so not the animator but the animation because we are not gonna program our golem to move, to do things. We're only gonna put his default idle animation and play that animation. For that, I'm gonna use the animation component here instead of simply typing. And let me just go here, choose the clip. I want the idle. So let me see if the idle is the act is actually the one that I want. Is he animating? Do you see the golem even animating? Play automatically always infinite he is not animating what is wrong with the dude let me go back here inside of the golem and here we have the idol here it is or actually select the golem and go into the animations here is the idol animation and it is not set to loop so select the golem right here inside of the models and then in the inspector you have these three tabs so you have the model tab you have the rig tab you have the animations tab now the model this is the overall information about the model itself here we can optimize the mesh we can generate colliders when we import it so on and so forth the rig right here rig is actually the skeleton inside of this mesh yes these meshes have skeletons they are like living people and it is estimated by 2020 that they are gonna take over the world just kidding they are not don't panic but anyways they have these skeletons which help them animate this is how 3d goes i have no idea do not ask me about it if you are a 3d artist you will understand if not go and look up some 3d tutorials and then you will understand and the last tab is the animations and here is the idle animation the one that i need so idle select it here in clips and go down and here you have something called the loop time and you have a checkbox near it i'm gonna click on that checkbox and check it and here at the bottom right corner i'm gonna hit apply which will make this little golem now animate i'm gonna resize the window here and hopefully my uh, video here in the bottom corner will not bother you when i hit this preview button notice how the golem is now animating this is what we want notice this is what we want let me put this back and go back here again so if i run the game now the golem should be animating no 
Not. What is wrong with you, man? Here is the idle play automatically. Always infinite based on renders. Do I actually need? Yes, I actually need to create the animation controller. So let me go here, create folder animation. So animations. And here I'm gonna simply right click and create the new animator controller. So golem like this. And now everything is gonna work because uh, remove the component animator, attach on him and drag and drop the co the golem controller right here for the avatar. I'm gonna select the golem avatar. And uh, now we do need to select here. First I'm gonna go inside of the models and for the golem window and animator not animation but animator and why don't i have that already here because am i on my layout i am now and let me just put it right here animator and let me just find the golem here and click on the drop down list for the golem did i select the golem here inside of the scene no i did not and it's set on 2d so let me select the golem here inside of the scene into the animator component here are his states i'm gonna drag and drop the idle animation right here let me just double click on it and see if it is set to loop yes it is and now the golem should loop so if he does not loop now i am probably gonna destroy my computer so let me go here and see what is going on yes finally so did not destroy the computer we are good to go and yeah moving forward what we want to do is select the golem and i'm gonna attach a box collider on him so box collider and here it is here is that box collider we will need to move it a little bit up 0.5 which will make it well here at the center i'm also gonna resize it on the z-axis let me just go here resize that dude here on the z and i'm not gonna put it like this because the ball will not be able to pass through it i'm gonna put it something like this i think this is okay yeah this is definitely okay and we are gonna set this one to be a trigger so this golem or the collider for the golem is a trigger and let me quickly go into the prefabs and create the golem prefab and drag and drop the golem here so golem put him inside of the prefabs folder so we are good to go and for the tag this is the last thing that we need to do for him create a new tag which i'm gonna call golem and hit enter to save it select the golem and tag him so click on tag and tag him with the golem tag so the only thing is left that is left for us to do is to position the golem so i'm gonna put him somewhere around here this one i'm gonna duplicate him but before that i'm gonna create an empty game object which is not gonna be a child of the golem so let me just position him at zero 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 and also zero here one for the scale and this is gonna be golem parent and the golem is gonna be the child of this parent and let me duplicate another golem position him here let me zoom in so this is where i want this golem to be maybe a little bit down another golem duplicate him he's not gonna be inside of the ground and whatnot you get the picture so what we need to do is we simply need to position these golems here as obstacles for our pumpkin and that is that i'm gonna call it for call it end for this video because everything what is left to do is to simply go over these golems or rearrange them here inside of the scene. Next video we are gonna go and pass them and create our triggers so that when we touch the golem we are gonna die and whatnot. So I will catch you guys in the next video but before that go and check it out. Go and check this out. This right here that you see. This right here and uh, if you can contribute that is okay share it you will contribute by sharing also which in terms will make you support the project maybe somebody will see it because of you and it he will back it up which in terms of will result in more crazy tutorials for you guys such as a first person shooter and a lot of 
things I have in plan, but I'm only one person and uh, I cannot uh, manage that all on my own, but eventually everything will come. Just be patient. So uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.